You have to promise me, yeah. you, whatever you do, you're not going to turn around. Okay. You promise? I promise. Three, two, one, big pull. You can turn around. <laughs> My name is Joseph Rakic and I am in love with this girl called Mariam. I'm a fitness YouTuber, but today this video has nothing at all to do with fitness. This video is going to be about the happiest day of my life when I asked the girl of my dreams for her hand in marriage. This day has taken a lot of planning, had my friends helping me. I reckon <laughs> Imagine if you, you dropped it. We did countless secret meetups and even had to get the whiteboard out at one point. Today is a day I am going to be proposing to Mariam and I wanted to make this the most insane, out of this world proposal ever. So here's what I've gone and done. First, I went out and I got her an amazing custom made ring. I then hired out the entire Eden Park Stadium. We're at Eden Park, we're about to go in the stadium right now, check out the venue and plan exactly how this big day is going to unfold. I then went and got her her favorite car. All right, so we're just at Range Rover right now. We're going off the Range Rover Evoque. And of course, her favorite color is pink, so I got it wrapped fully in pink just for her. Now she hates helicopters and she hates surprises. She tells me this all the time. So to make things interesting and annoy her just one last time before we get engaged, I thought, why don't I take her on a helicopter ride and then blindfold her while we're up in the air, which at this point she'll be confused. So to confuse her even more, we will land inside New Zealand's largest stadium only for her to be surprised with a brand new car, big pool, and all of our friends and family there. Then, for the main and most important part, I'm going to surprise her with one more thing, by me getting down on one knee, asking her to spend the rest of her life with me. And hopefully she says yes, otherwise you probably won't be seeing this video. And then I've also got myself a brand new pink car. How are you feeling? No, I look good, man. Not good? You got a so you've got a cold? Oh, I got the worst cold. Yeah, you come down with a cold. I can barely speak, so... Damn. As long as I can say three words, four words, <laughs> it should be all good. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah. Man, I'm losing my voice pretty bad. So you're nervous? Yeah, I'm pretty nervous, eh? Are you sweating? No, I'm, I feel calm, but I feel nervous in like my heart. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just, I just want everything to go smoothly, um, without any problems. Yeah. So we can only hope for the best. Alright, so it's 3 o'clock right now. I'm about to head out the house, pick up Mariam Davis and Tyrell. About to head out to the stadium, uh, get set up with the cameras, and then I'll be seeing them very soon. Alright, so I'm just leaving the house now. I'm about to go pick up Mariam for what she thinks is a special event. Although she's got no idea <laughs> it is going to be the day that she gets proposed to. Good luck, bro. Later, Bob. <laughs> so while I was picking up Mariam, I got all of our friends and family to meet at a bar for a surprise party that I wanted to throw for Mariam. There was over 100 people who came, none of them knowing it was going to be an actual proposal for Mariam. After one hour of waiting for us to arrive, my dad tells everyone there has been a huge mistake and that the place has been double booked and now that everyone has to leave. So everyone gets on a bus, no one having any idea at all where they're going, thinking that everything had gone wrong. Little did they know, everyone was at Eden Park setting up the actual surprise. Alright, so just arrived at Merriam's, um, about to pick her up for the special event. Little does she know, we're about to be on a helicopter and landing in the middle of Eden Park. I'll lie to you. <laughs> what? The special event is not at 5 o'clock in Meccano. It's actually at 6 o'clock. Yes. <laughs> you always do things like that. <laughs> what? And what I did, I went and got us a couple's helicopter ride. Me and you. And we're gonna land there by helicopter. A few moments later. We get to the helicopter 
and we take off for what Mimi thinks is a scenic tour before we land at the event that we were invited to. However, halfway through the flight, I tell her that I have another surprise for her, which is a pink blindfold that she must wear. At this point, she probably just thinks I'm crazy. Meanwhile, our friends and family have just arrived at the venue, with Mimi and I soon to follow. You have to promise me, you, whatever you do, you're not going to turn around. Okay. You promise? I promise. Promise. I promise. Okay. Okay, I'm going to tell you to open your eyes, and what do you have to do? Just open my eyes. And not look right around. Right. Okay. Just like you can open your eyes now. Don't look around, I told you not to. Oh, Joseph. I got your present. Sure. Don't turn around. So all you have to do now is pull these two white strings back. No, I can't do it. No, no, you have to. Just okay. keep looking forward. Okay. Promise me you're not going to look backwards. Keep looking forward. Now go. Where are we? We're in the middle of a stadium. Oh my god. Do not turn around. I literally cannot do it. Hold on to both. Now we're going to pull these both out. Three, two, one. Big pull. Turn around. <laughs> 